Today on New Things New Tech, are you ready to talk doorbells? Excuse me while I get that. Got dressed from new things, new tech. And that odd sound was our doorbell. It doesn't really ding dong, but more of a clunk. About the only place you can hear it is in the hallway just outside this room. With the rest of the house, we have to rely upon the doggy alarms, but they set off a lot of false alarms. So, time to replace that old doorbell with something that can be heard throughout the house. There are a lot of different options out there there's old school, wired, video, wireless, cheap, expensive. So I decided to try one of the middle ground ones and give this Notify Alert doorbell by Heath Cena the test. So let's open her up and see what kind of bells and whistles she has. This model doesn't have a camera but does have an app to send us notifications. I found one at Lowe's for 70 bucks and decided to try it out. In the box should be a plug-in chime and push button remote. It's supposed to communicate with both iOS and Android. More on that in a bit. Says it has a 100 foot range, smartphone notifications and adjustable volume can play 11 tunes with programmable muting, needs a connection to a home Wi-Fi system, is compatible with iOS 9 and above, and Android 5.0 and above. Mm, I probably should have checked my phone first. I currently have a Samsung Note 3 that I'll be using with the doorbell app. Okay, so the doorbell should only take five minutes to install. Simple enough steps. Plug in the chime, do a range test, mount the button, and load the app. Inside the box is a notify important message. Call us first before returning. The instruction manual, a nifty trifold design with three languages, English, Spanish, and French. Here's the doorbell chime with a standard two-prong AC plug. So it will plug into any available outlet. Just an FYI here, make sure to plug it into a non-switchable plug. Here's the doorbell switch. On the back is a pull tab. Pull it to engage the battery for the remote switch. A couple of screws, double-sided tape to mount the doorbell switch. So that's what we find in the box. Pretty straightforward. Now we just step through the manual and test and set up this doorbell. I mean, it's a doorbell. How complicated can it be, really? Step one, know your product. Hello, Notify Doorbell. How are you today? Step two, range test by push of the button and chime. Starting with the push button, we need to pull out this tab here that keeps the battery from making contact. We'll leave the button back off for testing. I just happen to have an extension cord handy here to plug in the chime. Plug in there like so. All right, so there is an LED blinking right here. So we know it's trying to communicate with the mothership. Press the button and, hey, we have a doorbell so that works. Step three is to mount the push button, but we're gonna wait until I get a chance to fully test this thing out before mounting. So next I'll plug in the chime somewhere else in the house and then download the app. Step four is to download the app. Go find the Notify Connected product app on either the App Store or Google Play. So just for kicks, I tried to load the app on the iPhone 4, no good there. Okay, next I tried on my Samsung Note 3. It's an Android 5 compliant and guess what? No luck there either. So using the app on my phones is just not gonna work. But hey, it does work to install on my iPad Pro. Better than nothing, I guess. It's not really intended to be on an iPad, and as the app is a phone app, but it'll work fine for this test. Step five is set up the Notify app. So during this, this step, you'll need to create an account with the app, using your email address as the username and some random eight to 12 character password. Once done with that, go to your Wi-Fi settings and set up the Notify alert from the available Wi-Fi network. Like many devices like this, you'll have to do this at least once to get it on your home network. So you'll need your Wi-Fi password, or put in one of your neighbor's networks and see what kind of fun you can have there. Open back up the Notify app, log in if not already logged in, and see if the Notify shows up. The app shows it found the Notify, so far so good. There's a setup wizard in here to help you get the Notify up and running. Would you like to set up your network? Well, yeah. So we're gonna give the option to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Probably best to choose my network and not one of the neighbors. Enter a password and voila, wait for it. Should be ready to go. Now one thing that they don't point out here is that if you have connected the Notify to your network, you may need to switch your device back to your network to connect it if it doesn't automatically switch back. So remember that. So now we'll give the new Notify doorbell a name. Hello, Bob. 
eventually we'll get back a notification that the notify name is created. Our newly named doorbell shows up on the system page. We add a notify accessory by following the on-screen instructions, so we could have multiple doorbell buttons paired to this chime. One for the front door, one for your back door. Press the sync button on the app screen, then press the button on the doorbell button. You'll get a quick notification and then can name the new paired device. In this case, this is the front doorbell. On the systems page, we can now expand the connected device list below the test bell, or doorbell, and see the paired device listed, the front door. Now we can click into the device and assign the sound we want for the front door. We'll just leave it as a standard ding-dong sound for now. So not too bad, it notifies us within a few seconds. Also, we get an email, well, eventually, telling us that the doorbell was wrong. However, by the time you get this email, the person at the door would probably be long gone. Back in the settings, we can add viewers or other people who can get the notifications. Going back under doorbell settings, the feature settings, we can turn the volume up and save it. So if your volume is quiet, maybe it's just not loud enough in the app, well, I don't know. So then we can hear the chime ring. Hopping back on the main page, there is an events tab which will show the connected devices. And under that, we can actually scroll down and see the events that have occurred by any of the devices attached to the test bell. It'll show the date and time, the event occurred, and we can delete any old events if we want. So I'll turn off the screen and press the front door switch and see what happens. Within a few seconds, we get a notification that the button was pressed. Overall, the Notify doorbell works as promised. It really took longer than five minutes to set up as you have to spend a lot of time configuring the app, setting up the paired devices, waiting for things to happen, etc. It took me about half an hour or more to get, the, get everything figured out. Really not that bad. However, the app is not meant to be run on an iPad like I've been doing here. It's designed to work on a phone. Unfortunately, my phones are too old to take full advantage of it. Eventually, I'll get around to upgrading them. The documentation that comes with the Notify Alert doorbell is enough to get you started, but you need to go to the website and find the latest full documented version and review it to really learn what you can do. Or like I did, just poke around the app for a while and figure it out. The ringer in the Notify chime is not that loud. I thought that perhaps I didn't have the volume up enough and experimented with that, but no setting will get it loud enough to hear everywhere in the house. I also made sure that the Notify had the latest version of the software by having it check the firmware section and upgrade. If the notifications are late, then you're going to miss that person at the door. This happens every so often while testing. Pressing the button, the bell would ring, but the notifications took a minute or two to actually get to my device. Could be the network issues, could just be really slow sliver processing. Really hard to say. The Notify uses your network to send a message to the Notify website, which then must send out a text or a push notification back to your device. The app should have been okay with my Samsung Note 3 as it does have the minimum required version of Android, but the App Center did not allow it to install. On the App Store for the iPad, I had to make sure to allow iPhone apps to get it to install, but it worked as expected, even though I ran it at 2x to fill the full screen, or I could have left it at the iPhone size. The ratings for the app are only less than three stars, but I personally did not have any of the issues reported other than the ringer not being loud enough. However, if you were to be in the same room or rely upon the notifications of your device, then I'd see this Notify doorbell working great for you. For me, at the time of this recording, the Notify Alert doorbell just isn't going to work out for us, as I'll have to return it and search for something else. It just wasn't loud enough to hear beyond the centrally located area it was installed, and I didn't want to rely upon the app and Notify Alerts for everything. For you, well, the Notify Alert may work great for your needs, what are you trying to get out of a doorbell? Do you need it to record who's at your front door? Perhaps a ring, a nest, a view, a casa, or other brand would work better. Each have their advantages and disadvantages. Thanks for watching. I'm Scott Drudge for New Things New Tech. If you'd like to see more reviews, unboxing, and general New Things New Tech, subscribe. Leave comments and get involved. Let us know what you think and what you'd like to see.